hi guys welcome back to my channel so in today's video i'll be talking about github projects and you can create a github project that can be associated with your github repository so project is basically an adaptable spreadsheet that integrates with your issues and pull requests on github to help you plan and track your work effectively so basically you can plan and track your work with the help of these projects which are in the form of spreadsheets so it could be in a tabular format or in a column wise format so now let's look into how you can create projects and how you can create issues which you can associate with these projects and those issues can also be linked with your repositories so now get uh, let's go to github and uh, so i have this github account with me so the first thing that you have to do in order to create a new project is you have to go to your projects once you are on this page you have to create a new project by clicking on new project button and over here you have to give the name of the project so let's say i name my new project as spring boot project and i click on create once i name the project so it could be either in table format or in the boot format so let's say as of now we are planning to make it in table format and i'll click on create button once i click on create button uh, my project has been created and i can go to settings and i can add a description to this project so let's say i add a description that this project will demonstrate spring boot application that will be developing so it will be associated with the spring boot application And once I have added a short description, I'll click save on it. And also you can change the visibility of your project uh, by selecting visibility. This project is currently private. So if you want to make this project as public, so you can do that as well. So let's say I make this project as public. So once you select in this drop down uh, public option, your project will become public. So that is how you make changes to your uh, project settings now you can see that there is something known as status field settings so basically these are the status that can be associated with the items that you will be creating inside your project so as of now there are three status that is present like to do that means the item hasn't been started then in progress the, the work is in progress and done that means this can be completed now you can add another status over here yet to be assigned let's say i create a new status and i can click on add button so it will be added in the list of status that will be displayed when i'll be working on this particular project so now let's go back to our project and start creating a new issue so let's say i create a new issue over here so we are going to have us hello word boot application startup so that will be my first issue or item that i'll be creating in this particular project and i'll click on create so other thing that you can do is you can choose the assignees if you want so let's say if i choose an assignee you can also add a label to it like what it is it is an enhancement documentation duplicate or what it is is it a bug or something so let's say i select documentation over here then you can associate it with the project so let's say i select spring boot project over here and finally uh, i can click on create button so you can see that the uh, item has been added to this particular project spring boot project now i can associate this project with my existing repositories so let's see how we can do that so let's go to repositories so i already have an existing repository over here and i will go inside my repository and i will click on projects and once i click on project there is an option known as link a project so i can click on this button link a project and i can select the project list uh, that is being shown in the drop down so i can select one of the projects so let's say i select spring boot project the one that we created just now and so you can see that this particular repository is now associated with this particular project and now when i click on the project it will take me to the same place like where we created our uh, issues and let's go back to the repository and see that if i can see the issue that we created recently 
so that issue will be associated over here and now you can make changes to this particular issue so we have already assigned this issue and you can make some changes and you can uh, the changes will be reflected over here and you then you can close the issue so let's say it is giving me an option in the projects to select what is the status of this particular issue hello world spring boot app so let's say the status of the issue is in progress then it is also giving an option to add a milestone it has nothing to add as of now and then you can also link a pull request with this particular issue so that is also an option over there so let's get back to our project and see that the status has been updated or not so you can see that i selected in progress so the status has been updated i hope this video was helpful to you in understanding the steps on how to create github projects how to associate issues and project to your repositories so if you have any questions or comments please feel free to leave them in the comment section below and i'll try to answer whatever queries and in whatever ways it's possible and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more such informative tutorials thank you thank you for watching bye bye